Hello everyone, welcome to another few money. After a few problems this week with the new computer and yesterday's internet going down, uh, finally going back up later during the day, we are finally back again today on Friday, just two days away from the weekly close on Sunday. So I would like to apologize for all the problems we had the last few days with the configuring of the new computer and the internet yesterday. So past that, let's see what the charts are going to tell us today, just two days away, as I said, from the weekly close, which will be an important mark uh, for this week. So let's go to screen share. And here we are on the price to time model. Let's see what's happen happening. And I'm going to zoom in. So as you guys can see, we are still in between the price action is still in between the threshold of the exponential curve. We are below the curve. We are above the 20 week SMA. And that tells me that the price action is healthy and sustainable. So we are just having um, accumulation phase here around that area. And we are still waiting for the weekly close to see what's going to happen. Or at least that that's the reason we are waiting for the weekly close because we want to the charts to tell us what what's what are the probabilities of what's going to happen next so here is the price of time model analysis everything looks good nothing else to report so let's go to the mri charts we start with the weekly and as you guys can see there's a bit of a change I decided to change this morning. I was looking at the charts, uh, trying to imagine a new pattern for the triangle. And I decided to change the triangle today. We are still inside the rules of the triangle, but now it's a bit different because the previous triangle was going up here around this area. And these two candles were the breakout to the downside of that triangle. But however, trying to figure out different triangles here on the weekly chart. I just um, came up with this one and the triangle still follows the rules. So we still have this side, the left side of the triangle uh, with this complete price action of this week, the body and the shadows or the weeks of the candle. Then we have a touch on the upside. We didn't touch here on the downside. We went back up again, a small breakout but as you guys can see this was uh, uh, in a really fast way corrected to the inside of the triangle again then we have a touch here on the downside of the triangle back up another touch on the top and probably we are going to be going down again and up unless we have a breakout before the time uh, before time so let's see if this triangle works uh, better than the previous one we are still following the rules of the triangle, so I hope everything goes fine with this one and at least we can have a um, much better prediction of what could happen or when the breakout could occur. So we are still fighting for the trend line here. Uh, the white line you guys see, uh, this diagonal, white diagonal. And yesterday we were back above the, the trend line. We are now below it again but there's a bit of a fight going on here just trying to get above but let's see what happens if we go back down we still have the downside of the triangle here to support the price action unless we have another breakdown of this triangle then I will definitely um, say that this triangle is now invalidated and we cannot continue to use it and we are just in an accumulation phase which probably would turn out to be instead of a triangle uh, it could turn out to be a ranging channel on the horizontal uh, having the bottom part around the 45k and the top part around the 59 or 60k so let's see what the weekly close gives us uh, in two days um, the simple the 20 week simple moving average is still going up so if we come back down to this bottom part of the triangle it's really possible that not just the triangle is going to support the price action but also the 20 week simple moving average which is coming up really fast 
and it could support the next week's candle or even the one after that. As you guys can see, the prediction of the uh, 20 week simple moving average, these three green dots are aligning with the bottom part of the triangle. And this is also one of the reasons why I decided to change it and have this different triangle now. Uh, that could turn out to be a very, um, this triangle could turn out to be much more correct than the previous one. So let's see what happens. And I'm anxious for the weekly close on Sunday to see what the predictions are for the chart on the weekly chart. Um, so far, so good. The RSI is just going sideways. The MACD is bearish. Uh, and the Fisher distance from the EMA is just going sideways, also not turning back up or down. So let's see what this reserves for the future. OK, let's check the daily chart. I also confirmed the triangle with the daily chart. So as you guys can see, we have a bit of a resistance here on the top side of the triangle. We had two breakouts on the daily, but really fast. They were corrected to the inside. Uh, this one lasted a bit more, a few more days, but we went back down and exactly where the bottom part of the triangle is, is has been supporting the price once here. We didn't touch it twice. And let's see what happens next with this touch we had exactly there. So I think the, the top part of the triangle on the daily chart is very well aligned just with those two exceptions, but that were really um, that were corrected uh, really fast. So let's see. Let me zoom out a bit. The volume continues to go sideways. So there is no decline uh, on the volume as we had been seeing for the last uh, weeks for the last few weeks and now everything is uh, the volume is going back to normal we're just going sideways so i'm waiting that the volume could could increase a bit uh turning up to the upside here uh, this orange average line for the volume before we have a breakout so according to the weekly chart let's just go back for a second the best the best week for a breakout would be two weeks from now. If we come back down during this uh, this week, we could see the price reversal, the price action reversal. If next week we come down, probably the next week after that would be a very nice uh, timing for the breakout and to end this one to four candle correction here or probably just next week also we could stop this one to four candle correction on the red and start a new count on the green, probably at the same time as the breakout occurs. But that's just a possibility. So we don't really know. But that would be a very nice timing for the breakout according to the MRI count. So let's go back to the daily. So on the daily, we are still struggling to get above the trend line. You guys saw that we had an MRI top warning here just a few days ago. Uh, however, we never had a nine green candle, which in my opinion was good because this correction could be much higher or much bigger if we had a nine green count and then a reversal for one to three, one to four uh, candle correction um, on the red, which we still had. But I guess this could have been much, much worse if we had a green nine before the correction. OK, so let's see. The RSI on the daily is just in the middle, completely neutral, just going sideways. The MACD is still showing some some bullish signs. We are still on the green bars, light green bars. The blue line is still above the orange line. So let me zoom in for those that can't really see or using phones. Um, so as you guys can see here, the MACD, although it's very close, the lines are very close. We are still having bullish signs on the MACD on the daily and the Fisher distance is neutral. So I will not talk about that. So that's a little chart. Let's go quickly to the four hour. So in the four hour, we are trying to get above the 50 period moving average, which is the yellow line. We are still fighting for this position here, but we have very close support on this 100 period moving average just below the price action right now. So I'm expecting that this could be a reversal candle. 
and we just need a bit more strength to cross over to the upside of the moving averages on the four hour but this doji candle here is a very good sign it's bullish and it closed on the green so i hope that this helps the price action to reverse to the upside and have a new try on the um on the trend line the white trend line you guys see going up here as soon as we cross the moving averages and we have a retest of the trend line if we can get above that trend line and hit this resistance around the 5960k we could probably see uh possibly possibly we could see a new uh, breakout or if the resistance is still very strong we could need a few more tries to break that so on the four hour also the volume is declining a bit but this is just the beginning or the half of the day since midnight uh, last night so the volume is not very indicative of what's happening now the RSI on the 4 hour is also neutral, just in the middle, going sideways. The MACD turned a bit bullish, uh, bearish, I'm sorry. You guys can see here the blue line below the orange line and three red bars. So the last three periods of 4 hours have been a bit bearish. However, this last bar here is now light red. So possibly we could see a reversal of the price action if this candle continues to go to the upside and we are now seeing it going up possibly to break possibly is going to break the 50 period moving average so let's see let's see what happens on the four hour two and the let's confirm here on the four hour what the bitmax funding rate is telling us it's now not so bad we have a 0 0.01 on the funding rate and the premium takes the bar to 0.02 it's almost 0.01 and 0.02 if you just adjust a bit more here this level is 0.02 so the bitmax funding rate is favoring the bulls there's not much uh, funding rate going on and not so uh, many leverage positions so that's good for the spot market okay let's just confirm on the one hour also here we are on the one hour we are seeing a possible breakout of this small resistance here we have no big resistance above this candle we have now a green star and possibly we are going to see at least for the next few one two hours some upside according to the mri the rsi is again in neutral territory just in the middle going sideways the macd on the hourly is now turning bullish the two lines are just touch touching each other and the blue line is probably going to cross over to the upside of the orange line and the bars are now approaching the zero level possibly in the next hour we could see a green bar happening here so the hourly chart is becoming bullish now and the four hour chart is possibly going to become bullish in the next few hours too so the rsi is just pointing a bit up although it's in neutral territory but it's now turning back up a bit so i believe in the next few hours we could see some bullish action and the price action trying to go to the upside breaking the moving averages okay let's just take a quick look here at the pro indicators framework there's no point um, watching the daily unless the most bearish case I could see is a new uh, a new movement of the price action going down to the bottom of this ranging channel, which could take us to the low 40s. That is still a possibility, so I'm not I'm not ruling that out on the daily but however we could see a new try to break the ranging channel to the upside and if that happens the probabilities of going back to the low 40s are really low so let's take a look at the four hour on the pro indicators so you can see better so what's happening here we have this support this support goes from 52 let me open it here the coordinates let's make this fifty four 
let's make this an even number so it goes from 52 to 54 this orange rectangle in the middle of the rectangles and now you can you guys can see much better so this is the support that has been holding the price we had a breakout of that resistance now becoming support we went to the upside and then it it supported the price action for once and twice here and we are now on the second we had two attempts to break the ranging channel as you guys can see this aligns perfectly with the candles and we are now seeing some uh, upside movement on the price action and possibly we could see a third attempt in the next few hours to break the ranging channel if that happens if we finally break this ranging channel and have a breakout to the upside I believe that we could retest the big, big, big resistance of the 5960K. And let's see what happens there. So basically the trend channel is we are just trading on in the middle of the trend channel. And that you guys know already, this is the dump zone. So there is no point taking any actions here. The only action you could take if we break the ranging channel is try to get the breakout here. And you could possibly go long. If you see that we are attempting to break the ranging channel again and the price action is going to reverse to the downside, you could take some profits for the short term trading positions you guys have. If the other possibility that we saw on the daily happens, if we try to break the ranging channel and we cannot do it, then it's possible that a fourth range boundary could form around the low 40s. I would say I would say that really it's really difficult to have a fourth range boundary below the 40 42k level, but it's still possible. So if we fail again to break the ranging channel, the possibilities of a fourth range boundary around the 42K area is increasingly becoming more probable. However, is if, this, if this price action you guys see here continues to have this impulse to the upside and if we can break the channel, then that will be very good sign that um, possibly we have a breakout to retest the 59k resistance. So, guys, uh, that's the analysis for Bitcoin. I would like just to show you guys also a small of an analysis I did today on Ethereum. So, let's go here. And this is about Ethereum Bitcoin uh, pair, but it's not on this one. Sorry, wrong chart. I was... I was doing that on the Ethereum Bitcoin chart, but on the MRI. And that is here. Yes, so, okay. I'm sorry, I will have to zoom out a bit the image so that you guys can see it since the 2017 peak on the weekly chart. And just to show you guys how Okay, so this is the weekly chart of Ethereum Bitcoin pair. And I know it's a bit messy, I know it's a bit confusing, but the only thing here that you should care about is the Fibonacci levels and also the configuration of the price action, the price action structure. So this is the peak here. Let me zoom in while I talk. This is the peak of the Ethereum Bitcoin um, price. And this was around 0.17, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so this was 0.17. So this was the peak of June 2017. And then you guys see that from there to practically today we have been declining the price action of ethereum against bitcoin until this point here where we touched the lowest lowest um lowest value for the ethereum bitcoin price which i believe was around 0 0.016 yeah around that so the point here is guys if you have if you if you have a Fibonacci retracement from the top of that peak in June 2017 and you put 
the 0% level around the bottom, which was on the 2nd of September or the week of the 2nd of September to, uh, 2019, two years and a few months later. You guys see that from this point on, we started to go back up. And as compared to the, to the previous peak, this is still just beginning. So we could see a massive cup forming here. And if Ethereum continues to go up, we have a few resistance levels. So the first one will be around 0 0.076. And then we have the next one around 0 0.095, almost one. So point, uh, point, point 0.1, exactly. The next resistance level, which is really hard, is a 61% Fibonacci retracement, which would happen around 0.11 and corresponds to these two tops here. So this accumulation, very, very volatile candle here. This was also the breakout to the downside. So this will be a very strong resistance, as you guys can see also in this peak here. We also crossed it to the upside and then immediately came back down during the same week. So that resistance level will happen around 0.11. And the next, so I would say we still have some ways to go until we hit the next resistance in the grand schema of Ethereum versus Bitcoin, which will happen around 0 0.075 or 6, 0 0.076 or between that and 0 0.08, which is corresponds to the third top that we had since 2017 around this candle here. So looking at this and in doubt, zoom out. So I decided to zoom out this morning. I was just looking at the Ethereum Bitcoin pair. I believe that if everything goes according to what the price structure is telling me, we had a breakout of this ranging channel. And if everything goes accordingly to that, we still have a long way to go in the Ethereum Bitcoin uh, pair, according uh, re uh, value related to the Ethereum Bitcoin pair. So we still have a long way to go. I believe that the next point of resistance will be only around the 0 0.76, 0 0.076 or 0 0.08. So guys, according to this, it could be a massive, a massive cup. And if we go back to the same levels of before around the red area, which will be the top of that previous uh, top in June 2017, if we go to this level, we could see a handle forming and possibly a breakout of that uh, of that resistance level here around 0.15. But this is just, um, I'm just speculating, of course. I'm just looking at the chart and taking the feeling that this could be a massive cup. And if that happens, and the Fibonacci levels are very, very... Um, you know, I, I just took the Fibonacci levels from this high point here to the lowest point here in September 2019. And the Fibonacci levels align perfectly with the resistance levels that we had in previous peaks. So I'm not saying this is going to happen, but I can see it happening. I can see it happening. There's a probability that we have a few resistances on the way. As I said, points 0 0.076 to 0 0.08 and then we could have a massive resistance around the, the 0.11 but however if this continues to go up I see probably Ethereum going back to the previous levels of 2017 so this is just a speculation I wanted to show you guys I'm just looking at the charts just um, doing some analysis on my own and I wanted to share this with you guys. Okay, let's see. We are now past the usual time already because I decided to talk about Ethereum a bit. But let's go back to stop screen share. So I hope, um, I hope you enjoyed the analysis of today. Again, I'm sorry for yesterday. I didn't have the internet to upload a new episode, so I did not even record it. 
Um, so today we ha we discussed a bit of Bitcoin um, Bitcoin price action, some probabilities, and the new triangle uh, on the weekly chart and daily chart, and also some speculation about Ethereum Bitcoin pair um, in the grand schema of things. So let's see what happens. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to gently touch the like button. Don't smash it because we need it for tomorrow. Um, and share it with your friends. If you are new to the channel, just subscribe you will, and hit the bell button and you will get all the notifications when I upload a new episode. And this is it for today, guys. So I hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.